And we are streaming. And Ooh, we are song? recording. OMG! <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are live in the world. I think. Somehow. Somewhere. So let's pull up the chat. Are we live on the interweb? Yes, we are. What, we're going all around the world? I know, <laughs> dude. How exciting. Oh, I know. So that man, that man that's sitting in um, that little house in somewhere like Outer Mongolia is <laughs> watching us. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I know. I, I sound so old saying that. <laughs> oh, dude, I've got to mute this because I'm getting a delay. Oh, no, you have to mute the Twitch chat, mate. Yeah, because it's literally, yeah. like, about 20-second delay or something. Have you got the link for that? Yeah, it's on the Facebook page. Oh, that means I've got to go onto Facebook. Oh, no. Well, you live on Facebook, mate, anyway, so... No, I don't. Yes, I don't you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Right, let's retweet that on from the mojo. Oh, we have actually notifications on there. Hmm. I need to go and find my password at some point so I can log into Twitch. Yeah, you need to do it. Right, are we uh, are we near, are we almost ready to go then? Yep. I think so. All right, you ready, Colin? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go stunty then, Collie. Okay. Right, I'm going to play the music as well, so you probably won't hear it through your headphones, so I'll stop talking when it's done. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Cool. Oh, no, the music won't play. Sorry. I edit it. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit it in afterwards because I'm playing the... I've got uh, Eve running on the on one of my screens, so I don't want to do it. What a nub nub. Oh, no. Right, we're ready? Three, yep. two, one. Hello and welcome to Mojo Radio. Episode oh fucking hell, I don't even know what episode we're on. What episode are we on everybody? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Four hundred and five or six. Let's start again. Four hundred and six. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to Mojo Radio, episode four hundred and six. We are streaming live on Sunday, the twenty seventh of November, two thousand sixteen. The podcast will come out on iTunes on Tuesday, which is the twenty ninth of November, two thousand sixteen. Which is also Final Fantasy fifteen launch day. So don't expect to be listening to the podcast on launch day, because I'll be too busy gaming. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm your host, Mark Webb, Gamma Tag, Peter ID, Steam ID, Webby three one seven, and joining me today is. I've been moving shit around the house today. It's number one stunt master. Happy belated Thanksgiving. It's Kali Wally. That is it. Yeah, I forgot That's about it. it. Happy Thanksgiving. Everybody else has left us. They've let us down, guys. But this is the Anyway. So it's going to be a short show this week. Um, I've played quite a bit of games, though, which I'm going to start reeling off at any moment. Uh, it's nice to have you on, Colin and Stunty. Stunty, you're, you actually now have won the award for the shortest retirement in history. <laughs> yep. I, I am Nigel Farage, aren't I? Realistically, I've left, I've come back, and I'm back again. <laughs> there you uh, go. But I wouldn't, but don't want to be mentioned to be in the same, you know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. So, yeah. uh, for those of you who are listening on Twitch Live, I just want to say hello, cool Arif. Beers and Jay Brones are the people who said hello in the chat. If you have any questions throughout the show, feel free just to pop them into the chat and uh, we'll, we'll answer them as soon as we can. Uh, that's the whole point of it. And we hope you enjoy. So I'm going to talk about some games. I'm not going to talk about any Final Fantasy games, so you aren't going to fall asleep this week. So Thank God. you've been saved there. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go for a few games. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start on Xbox, I think. I've played a few games on there this week. Um, Bat Battlefield 1, um, Collie Wally has picked the game up as well now. Yes. Oh yeah. My Thoughts. first experience was Black Friday. And we and we had a fun time. We did an operation and then after the operation, Colin jumped off and played some Overwatch. So he well, really enjoyed it. 
So was it was it like I said? It was messy, as in you just didn't know what you were doing. Uh, I mean, the, all the battlefield games are chaotic, right? Um, yeah. When you when you're playing multiplayer, I don't know if this one's sixty four on sixty four or thirty two on thirty two. So it's it it's very much got the battlefield feel of you are kind of one less than significant player on a large team. And there's just chaos going on all around you, and you got the squad dynamic. All of that stuff is still really true to you know the Battlefield series, and felt really good. Um, the graphics are fantastic, and I thought the multiplayer was fun too. You know, um, we it took some getting used to the guns, and you know, uh, you know how how slow they are to reload, and just you know you, you miss your automatic fire uh, stuff a lot of the time. Uh, in this game, and so it's been, it, it was a little bit of a transition for me, but I've, I've been impressed with the game to this point. It was just the chaos of it all that I was just like, take me back to six on six mm. Overwatch. I, I'll, I'll mention that I also have played the first two or three missions of the single player campaign, and I thought, I think the game starts out really strongly. Um, uh, the opening's kind of really powerful, right? It's, it's got a very somber tone. It's yeah. trying to treat the subject matter with a lot of respect, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and I think that's really cool. Um, as well, so I, I was very much into the single player campaign so far. What I've played of it, and yeah, it's not a bad not a bad pickup for twenty seven dollars uh, on a Thursday evening deal. Um, I did have to push my way through Walmart um, to get it amidst the mad crowds that were going on, but you know, well worth it. So enjoying it. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's. I mean, the the campaign is very very good, and as you say, it's got. A, a proper tone at the, at the start of like, you know, what it was like back then. And, you know, it was quite scary, <laughs> big time. Yep. I mean, most people today wouldn't even survive five minutes in that kind of war. But the, the the actual multiplayer is, it's a big learning curve, I think, because as you say, it's very chaotic. There, I think it is 64 on, you know, it, it's either 30 or 64. The problem I have with it is I've got to the age where I think I'll just, too old now for those kind of things because I just feel like I get shot from some dude oh, from all the way over. I'm an old man. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I, yeah, but I get shot from someone from across the other side of the map, and I'm like, I didn't even see him, you know. And that, that's the problem I have yeah. with that that kind of game. Whereas games like Overwatch and Titanfall, I feel like I've got a little bit more. It, it's not as because of the maps aren't as big and it's not as many players, you know. I, I can deal with that more, but you know, that's just me. Uh, yeah, it's good though. I'm. Uh, I need to give the. Ugh, I mean, we can talk about all the multiplayer that I've been playing recently because I've been playing a lot of multiplayer. Uh, I need to give it more of a fair shake. I think I've I've only yeah. maybe played it an hour, um, mm. and it's just I'm addicted to Overwatch right now. So that's fine. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's good that that you have a game that you're really mm -hmm. enjoying to the point that you want to play it all the time, and that's a good way to be, man. I mean, because I I find that I chop and change my games a lot. Um, but I'm finding at the moment, and I'll talk about those games in a bit, but I've kind of gotten addicted to a couple of PC games, so my console gaming's kind of really gone downhill. Um, yep. But yeah, I've noticed that you've been really enjoying Overwatch. I did join you for a couple of games this week. I, uh, and I thank you. And and it was fun, even though I did do a lot of shouting and screaming down the headset. Um, but yeah. yeah. Do you want to do you want to talk about Overwatch? Do you want to talk about the um, the jelly and yes. ice cream party yesterday? Dude, it was freaking awesome, was it not? <laughs> No, it was It was terrible. It was awesome. We were ended. I, I, Colin was playing with some random people on Overwatch because none of us would play with him. And I jumped Aww, into the party chat, and friend. it was like a jelly and ice cream party. They were all twelve-year-olds. He was playing yep. with. Now, for, can we back up? Who eats <laughs> ice cream with jelly? What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I eat ice cream with jelly. Bread. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Mark, I think uh, Peeves wants in. Yeah, so so Peeves has joined us. Hi, Peeves. Evening. Peeves has given us half Peeves. an hour of his precious time. Thank you, Peeves. Think you yourself lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we are fortunate. Yeah, Peeves, you just got started telling the story of the epic Overwatch session party chat that we had with the uh, train spotting Teletubbies. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so just look, proves my point. Just proves my point. It's only kids it's play this kid game. game. Bastard. Now listen to me. I have a story to tell. So, because I could not, um, I can't get anyone in the community to really, you know, that um, at least from the podcast crew uh, to play Overwatch with me on any regular basis. I go into this clubs feature, you know, because they've got this new club stuff on Xbox. And by the way, we're at 185 members now. Keep inviting people. Love the size of that. And, and 
we need to you know keep it keep it active in terms of content and chats and, and gamer groups and stuff like that but they have this looking for group functionality right so i go in and i post looking for group want to play overwatch need five players oh I'm that's where you found them Yes, and but what I'm saying, what I think happened, I don't think the looking for group in the club at the club level. Is this, one of, uh, is this one of these Jimmy Savile rooms? No. <laughs> and what is the Jimmy Savile room? <laughs> Grooming the young ones. <laughs> back, back, <laughs> back to my story. Um, I so when I created this group in the club, I don't think it restricts it to only club members, right? So it's anybody that's looking for a group for Overwatch will see it. And so I had a bunch of randoms just join my group, and one of them was this 12-year-old <laughs> Scottish kid named Cod Zombie Camp, uh, Cod Zombie, Cod Zombie Camper, and he was basically hopped up on Iron Brew, and <laughs> Dan was Dan was in the party saying, and he had a couple of friends in there, and he's like, "This sounds like train spotting." Um, and the 12-year-olds. Yeah, it was it was a little bit mad, uh, and we had a good laugh. Admit we had a good laugh in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was quite entertaining to see what a twelve-year-old actually, what their mindset is at that age, and they're uh, scared. Is that how, is that how old they were? What, yeah, what me on Roblox. Yeah, they kept going nuts. So <laughs> all that. I have a twelve-year-old, and I'd dread to think if he speaks like that on flipping Xbox. Oh, dude, I bet you he does. Are you talking about Jamie or Hayden? Hayden. Mm. I bet a bloody not. <laughs> Uh, but well, if you're not around, you don't know what they're up to. Yeah, you know, especially uh, when you got people like Colin out there grooming them. Hey, uh, <laughs> I think you've raised Hayden well, because my Thank kids you. play with him a lot, and they would be like, "Dad, Hayden said a swear word." They never say that. No, uh, to be fair, I do listen in, and he's been playing with your two all weekend, and he's yep. been he's been fine. He gets a bit excited and raises his voice, but there's no. Nothing mm. like what we heard in that party chat. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I've never seen train spotting. So what is, do you want to help me understand what is meant by Teletubby train spotting? You don't have to watch it. It's hard. It's to just explain. drug. It's just drug addicted, hyper tweaked. It's, uh, yeah, it's just Scottish people. Bunk. Is that all it is? Yeah. 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 Basically. Uh, you don't have to watch that film, Colin, because that, that's very educational to watch that film. I, um, <laughs> Dan sent me a clip. It's got the skinny guy who gets his necktie stuck in the car and snatched by Bullet Tooth Tony. Um, that's all I know him from. And yeah, it's it got um, you well. and, yeah, Ewan McGregor. Yeah, I yeah. think he's the most famous one. Yeah, Begbie's been in Bits and Bobs. Um, Robert Carlyle. I can't remember yeah. what he's been in, but he's been in Bits and Bobs. But it's it's well worth a watch. I mean, even now, I mean, I watched it about a month ago. I mean, that film's, how was that film? 20 years old, I think? Or was it? Mm -hmm. uh, it is still an awesome film. Um, and even now, I bet you the Scottish would say, you know, we ate the English, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, the bit where they're sitting there out in the fields. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, fun, fun film. Anyways, I don't know that we have to talk a whole lot more about Overwatch, other than I've been playing hours and hours and hours of it. It's the only thing that I really want to be playing in any kind of major way recently. He, yeah, Steve, you did, you get the up, did you get the uh, update downloaded in full? Yeah, it's all downloaded now, so I'll... Uh, okay. I would, I would have, to be fair, I would have hopped on with you, but it just wouldn't... I hadn't put it in for so long, I needed a big update, so I didn't get a chance to, but I'll give it, a, I'll give it another go. I, you, I, quite, I quite enjoyed it yesterday, I must admit, when I came in with Thank you guys, because I haven't, I haven't played it for a while. Um, I mean, I, know, I only use two characters, Soldier and Bastion, they're the only two I yep. use at the moment, and there was the, the other one, which I haven't used, the Midget. Um, but it is a good game. The, the problem is, as you say, is if you do get in, I mean, the two, I think I played three games you, the first two games, we were just getting owned. And yep. it's quite hard when you're on the back foot. But when you start to sort of get a bit of, you know, consistency going where you're moving forward and it, yep. it's, it is, you know, it's good, especially if everyone works together. That's the big yes, thing. Yes, and plays their role, right? You've got healers yes. in the back healing, you've got tanks up front soaking up damage, you've got, mm. and then your DPSers trying to avoid fire and, and all that stuff. It, I, 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 it's going to sound corny, but I liken it much to like a, a sporty, you know, it's like an athletic thing where you've got a smaller team, you've got six people, everybody's got a role to play and you got to work together. The other thing about this game that maybe some people find frustrating is that the 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 matchmaking for it is very good at matching you up with people of your same skill. 
All right. And and so I like my win loss on this game is like fifty two percent. Like it 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 purposely pairs you with people of your same skill, and so it's not like some of these other games where if you play it a lot, it's easy to just go into public games and bruise people, mm. um, and, and just rinse it over and over again. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Judge like. Any game that you have where you're losing, it's not going to be fun. But if you just judge it on the content, you know, the quality of the content that you have, um, I think you're – and not take it so seriously that if you lose, you're going to hate life and freak out and road rage or roid rage or rage quit or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I, uh, it's, I, it's I, not, it's, I, I don't think it's that kind of game to rate. Ra- I mean, even when we were losing last night, you know, it wasn't that bad. I didn't – you know, like we're Battlefield. Yep. The problem I have with – the, the difference with Overwatch to Battlefield is Battlefield, I will spawn, I will spawn run and halfway die. across... Spawn and die, yeah. yeah. but I will run halfway across the map and then bang, dead. And I've yep. got to do it again, run halfway, you know. Whereas Overwatch is a little bit different. You sort of, you can stand back, you can, even if you do go right to the front, you're not just going to get owned straight away. Well, not all the time, depends on who you come up against, but it, it's not, in, it, it doesn't drive you mad, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I'm really enjoying Battlefield One. I've said I've, I've completed the campaign twice. Um, wow, that's how much I love the really? campaign. Wow. Yeah, um, I just think it's a fantastic campaign. It's probably the best Call of Duty of Call of Duty Bad Battlefield campaign. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, much better than any of the Call of Duty single players I've played. To be honest with you, um, multiplayer wise, I'm enjoying the the various game modes. Uh, Beers mentions in the chat about the capture the pigeon mode, which I know uh, you guys haven't played yet, and that's really really pigeon. cool. Is that real? Yeah, man, it's awesome. And that, but, and uh, that was the one part by the way the of the campaign where I was catch flying pigeon. a pigeon, and I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, but you don't I'm actually fly like... the pigeon in uh, in this game mode. You got to release them. Oh, I right. said yes. But catch the pigeon, I did fly Muttley. the pigeon in the single player. Yeah, that was a really <laughs> somber moment, dude. Uh... Anyway, um, I'm really loving the operation mode, which is what I brought you into, Colin. Which was really, really yep. fun. It's rush and conquest together, right? Yeah. You, how you describe it? Yeah. yeah, and you know that's my favourite game mode. I think conquest is the game mode for levelling up your dude quick quicker, though. Um, I have ranked up all of my classes apart from the sniper class to rank two for the Chivos. I'm finding the sniper class the hardest class to use though because I'm just a crap aim um, to be quite honest with you but um, I am enjoying it and I've had some really good sessions with people from from the community so um, I'm I think it's a great game so and I look forward to it playing is well more done. with people. I admit um, the multiplayer had a cool moment where it was like a Hindenburg uh, the airship got shot out of the Zip sky blimp. and this big flaming ball of uh, this big flaming blimp came crashing to the ground um, on top of one of the points, um, presumably killing everybody underneath it. It was, you know, it's got those epic moments in Battlefield where a plane will fly right, you know, two feet over your head and then crash into the building behind you and that kind of thing. Um, so it was good fun when I played it, I will admit. So, yeah, we look forward to playing better. Each to their own, mate. Each to their own. Yeah. Um, I know we've only got peeps for about half an hour, so I want to actually s- skip to peeps, and we'll and I'll talk yep. about my games later, just so we yep. get peeps in a little bit. So, peeps. Okay, thank you. Well, still on Battlefield, while we're talking about it, I, I um, uh, I had the ten-hour trial last time I was on here, and was zooming and ahhing whether to to pick up the full game, um which I did plan on doing and I picked it up for about £44 in Asda then put it down again thought about it, I'll get it next week anyway I'm glad I did because it was on the the Black Friday sales on the Xbox store which for a change has actually been quite good I've had some real good bargains on there um, I pick, also picked up uh, Hitman also um, after I see Hogarth put something in the Facebook page about um, it being cheap and I've I've loved. Do you remember a few years ago? Was it Absolution? Yeah, was my awesome uh, game. was mm. yeah was my game of the year when we did our yeah and game mine. of the year podcast a few years back, and uh, I've been waiting for the new one. But they brought it out episodically, didn't they? And I didn't really um, yeah pick, I didn't pick it up or anything. I, I wanted to, but I just didn't. Fan, I just didn't like the idea of these episodic things anyway. So I just left it on the back burner, forgot all about it, and then. Uh, it um, appeared on this Black Friday thing where you can pick the whole thing up for 22 quid, so I did that. But uh, yeah, going back to Battlefield quickly, um, yeah, I picked that up for 36 
um, in the Black Friday sale. Um, so I'm well happy with that and uh, been playing a bit of it since. And yeah, I love it. I've, I've only done a few of the missions um, of the campaign, which, like Webby says, are really well done. I've been trying to collect all the um, collectibles and, and things, but it's done where it's not like a normal campaign where like you're the same person all the way through the game it's it's different parts of the war isn't it and mm -hmm. different different parts of different um, different, different yeah. char characters and yeah i think it's really well done um so Cut yeah still probably really through good that. too in the first yeah bit that i did you know in the tank and you've got mcmanus being a big jerk and being a meanie to the new guy and all that like it was kind of cool you know the way the, the 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 writing and the thought they put into it yeah so. Yeah, the story, the story so far in from what I've played uh, has have been really good, and uh, the multiplayer, like the maps are like epic. There's some smallish ones, but there's some big ones, and I think they're really well done. Yeah, and there is there is a big learning curve, and I stunty sounds, you know, you you spawn, you run halfway across a map, and you die, and there is you do get some of that, but this is where really you need to be in a good squad where you can where you can spawn on your squad. Then you obviously need like a medic, you know, a couple of medics, or at least one medic. So you can, you know, if you stick together, if you die, you can revive, and you're still in the same area, so that you haven't got to keep traipsing halfway across the map. But I, I think it's really well done. And there's sometimes when you bit, when you like running around on your own, and you can hear the gun gun battling going off in the distance, and or something really close in the next room. I just think the sound and and everything about this game is is really really good. Um, the bits I'm struggling with, and it's just, I know, you know what I'm like being a bit newbish, is I find the, I think the leveling up's quite slow, and also um, unlocking the weapons to me seems a bit of a chore. I don't really get this scrapping, this scrapping um, of weapons, don't get really get that malarkey. Do you have to scrap, scrap your battle boxes to... Um, yeah, I unlock guns and you. In no, your so character. basically, every time you level up, you get war bonds, and then you use those war bond bonds to buy more weapons. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, see, because it takes such an age to rank up, and you don't get many war bonds, you're not you're having to sort of play a long time with the like the sort of low powered weapons. I, don't know. I mean, I still use like kind of the starting weapons because they're all pretty much the same. The only difference with the other weapons is maybe. Like, you get the experimental ones with a dot sight, and that's pretty much the only change, to be honest. Really? Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I opened up some these boxes, and I've got these, like, um, slight, what look like special guns type things, and it says, do you want to scrap it? I thought, well, do I scrap it, or can I use it? But I see no option to use it, so I scrapped it, thinking that would be money for me to buy weapons my character but it doesn't because it's war bombs so uh, it's a bit bit confusing for me anyway but on the whole that's the only my only sort of gripe with it the actual game plays really good um it is hard but again with all the battlefield games it's not all about just running and gunning i i, I was coming like top i mean there's there's some big uh, big maps and um i think is it 38 player the biggest 64, uh, yeah, 64 player is the big yeah, map. So, so, yeah. so I was coming like in the top I was coming in the top 10 on my team but only killing so many people well, a lot of mine was like reviving using my health packs and doing team objectives and things like that so it's not all about just the killing you know so but yeah I, I do really like it um Hitman, I said, uh, picked that up and I played just a couple of missions because I've gone from, I know when I was on previously, so I had really nothing to play. I've gone from there to just having too much now. Um, no. I say, so what, battle <clears throat> go on. Quick thing to ask on Hitman. I mean, the th Hitman's got a funny old, sort of, there's a lot of people that love Blood Money, the early ones. Now, I, I played, I tried to play them. I couldn't get into them. Absolution. I absolutely adored because it had a great story. Is this actually a story or is this just one story or is it, it continues on the story or what, what is it? I'm not, I think it is one story because I'm not done too much myself, but I did the training and then I've gone on to the first like episode. I think it's Paris. But I think it's more or less the same story. You just get sent to different, do different contracts. Right. Uh, but yeah, just the training mission, 
Um, you can play that three or four times because obviously, as you know from Absolution, you you can you can kill your your contract so many different ways. Yes, you can just right. go in and shoot them, or you can go in and use poison, or you can go and do it mm. this way. You can go and do it that way. So you can play the game so many different ways, and mm. there are like in-game challenges for you to do that. So. You, you do it when you do your, your first training mission you, it will tell you how to do it basically it, it, it holds your hand telling you how to do kill this first guy but then after that it goes right do the same mission again but now use your own initiative to go and do what you want to do so mm -hmm. you can go in a different way and use a different disguise and, and do things like that and then there's in-game challenges telling you um how to you know how it wants you to do it so you can just keep playing it over and over again you can play the same one like i don't know five six times and do a different kill them a different way every time so there's quite a lot of replayability in it mm. um, but yeah it's really well done i mean if you loved absolution you're going to love this um mm. especially at 22 quid for the for all the thing was i think was a bargain no it's free for me <laughs> my, game, I mean... my game sharing buddy bought it thank you very much <laughs> yeah job, job done mm, okay. i will but, play yeah. I'm, I'm gonna wait at the moment i don't want to ruin the experience i want to go into it and play are, are they all released now or all, all, is it five episodes? i think so yeah right. yeah because they're all they're all in this deal they're all in that deal for 22 quid for the whole thing right okay That's yeah i want to go like. through mm. um playing playing lots of forza Horizon 3, really lo loving that game. I just, the only thing I can't get to seem to play anyone with the community. Yeah, uh, what has happened to that game? It does Overwatch seem to have died happened. a little bit. I think it's just the times that you guys are online, mate. I think, <laughs> to be honest. Well, Webby's on join the day, isn't he? Uh, when you play Forza, Webby. I mean, I just play during the day because that's kind of when my. Um schedules are you know what i mean so um i do struggle in the evening times but i i have noticed on my friends list as well that um i've not uh seen many people playing it to be honest on my friends list um but it, it you know it's a great game and it's really really fun doing the road trips and stuff online it's just that issue again and it's not just this game it's a lot of games it's just getting everyone together at the <coughs> same time to actually fucking play a game how yeah. I've I've just started this as well actually Forza. How far into the game do you get before you can actually start using the um, community aspect? Because I can't do that at the moment. I don't think it's too far in. No, it's not. I mean, if I jump on in a bit, I can send you an invite anyway, and you can jump straight into the club. Otherwise, right. I think you have to unlock like the second or third festival site or something. Yeah, I've done the first one. So I must admit, I'm I'm enjoying the game. It's it's beautiful looking. The only thing I will say is I didn't think the start was as good as the second one. I just didn't think it was as it didn't seem as overwhelming as in the way it was done. You know, it was quite oh, you know this is awesome. The rest it just didn't I don't know just for me, but that's just me personally. Uh, still a good game. I'm not going to slag it off. No, for, for me, I I can't find a fault with it. Mm. I, I, but you say it's beautiful to look at. It's the game is massive. Yep. You, you you upgrade all these different sites, and then it unlocks loads more um, different, um, like they're called PR events or races, and uh, and all sorts. And then there's like jumps and speed cameras, and it's just a massive map. There's loads to explore, loads of events. You can do. Um, you can do your own blueprint bucket list so you can set up challenges and then invite people on your friends list to go and to go and do them and it's got all like little it's got all like leaderboards and i just think it's a you know it's really up there one of the, got to be one of the best racing games ever it's just a brilliant game with a longevity for me i think it's you could be playing this in a year's time saying that it seems to have dried up a little bit but this is where the club, the club, the new club feature should come in. You know, try and um, try and put things on the on the roster there. Try and get people interested and yeah. put dates and times. And well, I know a lot of people have picked the game up. Like most people have actually picked pick this up. So, um, you know, it shouldn't be that hard to get a time for everyone to get together because people don't have the excuse of I don't have the game because so many people have got it. So you just well, got to arrange a yeah, gaming uh, night. That, that's all. I mean. They've got that um, the online community 
thing, but I don't know whether that's actually working because I actually arranged last Saturday at two o'clock a Titanfall, you know, afternoon. And um, yeah, I had a great afternoon on my own. Lol. <laughs> no one yeah. came in at all. Whether friends. it's because, you know, yeah, friends, friends yeah, people moan about me on a PlayStation, but bloody hell, the Xbox for me is just as bad. <laughs> so, but no, um, <clears throat> I don't know if that works or if people were actually seeing the community aspect of it on the on the Xbox. Or is it just easier just to put a thing on Twitter or Facebook? I don't know, really. Yeah, I mean, you can direct mention people on that, and it does send them a message. But I think if you if you put, say, like, because I put something about Gears on Saturday, and unless some people physically go in, then right. they won't see it, I don't think. I'm not sh exactly sure. But, yeah, you need something where it sort of notifies everyone, really, so it pops up while they're playing. Like, I don't know, people does just it... set up a game, come and play. Yeah, because it doesn't send the notifications, does it? Because I know it's on the PlayStation, it actually sends a notification to say, oh, there's new posts on the actual Mojo page. Um, but I don't know if the Xbox does that. I don't think it sends a notification. I think, as you say, because it, it's like a friend, isn't it, the way it's added, isn't it, the, yeah, the community? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's a strange... It's like a, it's like they've added it as... as a, you know, they couldn't really work out how else, how else to do it. So, you know... Yeah. Uh, mm. So yeah, I mean, we did have the fours of Fridays, didn't we, when it first came out, um, which was popular for a few weeks, and then that seems to have. Perhaps we should do a fours of Saturday or Sunday, or maybe a fours of yeah. Monday. Ooh. Well, yeah, I'm mm. around tomorrow. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll be we're going to play tomorrow. Overwatch after the podcast today, right? <laughs> now we're going to play <laughs> Forza. <laughs> it's Sunday though. None of the kids will be on. Forza Sunday, mate. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, so there's people listening who are, no, so just to say shout out to the club, people who, went, who are listening who haven't yet joined, join it. I think we've got about 180 something members. It keeps slowly going up, but yeah, join it and um, we'll try and get some things set up on that. Mm. Beer, um, Beers was just low. mentioned something in the chat about uh, you need to turn on get all notifications in the club and then you get the notifications when people do stuff. Uh, right, okay. All right, cool. I'll put that on. So there's an option in there to turn them <clears throat> on. So. Right. Oh, okay. But cool. yeah, I mean, there, there, there should no excuse for not setting things up now because there's so many multiplayer games at the minute. Mm. I um, think there's too many though because the, the, yeah. I think the problem we're having is oh you know shall we set up a game on say Battlefield no I'm gonna, I want to play Watch oh no but I want to play Forza oh but I want to play Titanfall and I'm like well there's just too too much choice then well just use the looking for group stuff or the the party you know the the club party stuff I've I've created those a couple times and nobody jumps in to chat or anything maybe it's just because I'm persona non grata I'm a I'm a leper in the community what have you but um uh, the question i had is the notification thing beers is that at the that's at the club level uh, at the xbox or sorry if i missed it or are we talking about the forza car club level no we're talking about the the uh club the the xbox club okay so you so anytime someone does anything in the so you the, 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 there's an option to turn up. the no notifications on so mm. okay so you can have friends friends i want friends, friends. i need friends well, should play Peeps? Yeah, Peeps, go um, on. I've finished um, the journey on FIFA. No, no, most oh, yeah. of you aren't all that yeah, interested. Yeah, go on. yeah, yeah, I am. But, yeah, I, I enjoyed. I, I think it's done really well. Like I said the other week, it's a different angle to it. Um, it. It takes a little while, but um, I'll finish it now, and I've, I enjoyed it. And it's a bit of a cliffhanger. There's rumours going around they might add something, some DLC. <laughs> And you can carry on, or it may carry on in the next FIFA. I don't know, but it's something I think they'll definitely um, going to carry on with. Um, How long is it? Like, um, I'd say it's about 10 hours. Well, it depends. Obviously, yeah, I think it says it's about 10 hours. Hmm. Um, I don't know how people have been playing. It'd be interesting to find out. I've got a couple of lads at work who've played it, and they... Um, <laughs> Uh, they play it as you could just play it as your character in a in a football match, and just and then the AI 
uh, all your other teammates are the AI and you just use your player or you can play as the whole team and play as you would normally do in FIFA when you control the whole team. Mm. Um, I, I controlled the whole team, but the trouble is what, what happens is because the game focuses on that one player, he's the main man, yeah. you're trying to um, get hit. I wouldn't say his stats up, but you've got a little thing in the corner it tells you what his like his score is for that match you know you know in the papers they always mark players out of 10 yeah 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 so so in the corner for the whole game you've got his number it starts at about six. So oh, yes got to, that's right you've got to so, do good things pass and so it gets it up higher yeah, yeah so if you score a goal it goes up yeah. to something like eight and a half but then as soon as if you make a bad tackle or a bad pass it goes down and yeah. so so everything you do well it goes up and like vice versa mm. so but the trouble is when you're because you're trying to concentrate on and getting his thing up score up you find you're trying to pass to him all the time and then when you pass to him you're trying to do everything with him like trying to take all the players on and so you end up you know concentrating too much on on the one guy but it'd be interesting to find out how other people play it. but as a whole i think it's a really good addition to fifa um glad to glad i glad i picked it up and, and played it um Chivos for journey mode? Is there any? Is there what? Sorry. Is there any Chivos on the journey mode? Yeah, yeah. I think it's for completing the journey modes. Ninety G. Woo! Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's worth doing just for that. <laughs> Mellow fellow yes. wants to know what level you played it on, peeps. The journey. Um, I think it was Amateur? semi pro. Semi pro. Uh, semi pro. Yeah, because there's an achievement for getting his value up to eight million i think and i only got up to 5.6 million so i'm wounded i didn't get that achievement oh dear um, i suppose you could, you could play it again i suppose but um mm. yeah it's, i really didn't like fifa so now now that's finished we're just going to concentrate on the <laughs> ultimate team which is tough I we find. haven't done any online have we at all no i was thinking if we can get enough people if there's an interest we could set up a pro club um, I know we set one up in the last FIFA, didn't we? Hello, seven years ago. And no, and no one played it last year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the year before ago, we did, didn't we? The FIFA club. Yeah, uh, yeah. We well, went that year. You came in it, Collie. Was that's when the we... year I got it, and we had uh, the Xbox uniform or the kit or whatever. Yeah, I think it's the... Seattle, Seattle Sounders. Sounders. Yeah, yeah, yeah sponsored by xbox but that was the year it really really took off for us as a community because yep. we ended up having to have like two or three pro clubs there was just too many of us um yep. and it was really really successful um but it sort of dwindled over the years but it'd be nice to try and... got that game dude and yeah the even you, yeah, yeah you and headcase were in it yeah that was funny yeah ah, epic time yeah, you... dude <laughs> it never gets any better i'm an old man <laughs> <laughs> it was but fun yeah, to be then, there. And, and Webby and yeah. so was that, me and Headcase had it, but Webby did not. Is that right? I don't think Webby had it. I don't, I don't think, think Webby had it. Have you ever had a FIFA, Webby? FIFA sucks balls, so no. <laughs> <laughs> like right at the start of the podcast, he had it. Like I'm talking 2007. February 2007, did you play a FIFA game? I might have done for the Chivos. Yeah. Well, I remember when I first joined the community. And I was learning about the English Premier League, and you were like, "Yeah, support Arsenal, mate. Arsenal's my team." Or whatever. And now something's you happened. Go. You just don't give a shit. No. <laughs> um, I've been playing a little bit of Titanfall. I think we had a little go on that. Was it Saturday, guys? We had a few matches, but yeah. I'm really, so again, I'm really liking. I, I do quite like that as well. Um, it's well designed multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I haven't very really fast touched, paced i haven't really touched the, the single player but my son has um i've been watching him and it looks quite good and no, i've heard good things yeah, yeah i've heard good it. things about the campaign so um it's on the it's on the list to, to complete as you know i like to when i start a game i like to finish that particular game rather than go off and try and but like what i don't do what you do stunty where you play <laughs> level from game. games on the go yeah yeah got yeah. so many games on the go and you never finish anything i like yeah. to try and finish yeah. the only thing i find with, game... with, with titanfall though is it is just call of duty with wall running i mean it is literally it, everything the movements the guns the way you shoot 
for me, I do enjoy it, but it's too fast paced for me. I prefer a slower pace shoot, a bit like Battlefield or maybe Armour or Rainbow or something. I just don't. Mm -hmm. I just. I just. There's, there's, there's no teamwork in Timefall or anything. It's literally uh, Call of strange. Duty shooting and that's yeah. it. That's just how I feel anyway. Uh, remember, remember yesterday when you said there's no teamwork in Overwatch? Yeah. Crazy there, bastard. I know, I'm there crazy. Is, like, I think, you know, when we first started playing, we had, a, we had a good group of the community and we had six players or eight players and it was, you know, we were playing Amped Hardpoint. It's right, right, I'm going Charlie, you go Delta, or you go Bravo, and, you know, I'm going to Amp it, you guys go here. Or there. It just depends on the mood that everyone's in. And when you're getting destroyed in a game, the chatter all of a sudden stops, you know, people stop talking, and they just kind of get into this funk where they don't want to talk, don't want to have fun. So I think winning or losing plays a big part of it. Yeah, maybe. I think That's right, my yeah. perspective, yeah. I'd like to see you on Final Fantasy fourteen. Do you communicate in a dungeon? Well, you have to ask Switch about that. <laughs> we we uh, text chat. Anyway, I'm not talking about Final Fantasy this week because <laughs> I'm saving all my Final Fantasy love for next week's show. Well, I'll when are you getting it? Someone in the community's already got the game, apparently. Yeah, I know. I should have pre-ordered a version from Simply Games. I would have. I could have been playing it yesterday. Saddy face. Any reviews on Metacritic for it yet? Or no. what's, the, what's the chatter? It, it, it'll, it'll be at least a 90, mate. Guaranteed. Mm, okay. Anyway. Right, last Eight. game. Go on, peeps. That I've completed this week. And Ooh. Webby's Game of the Year. Oh, yes. Gears of War. Gears oh, of shit. Snow. How did it go, dude? <laughs> All I know is you two had a brutal time. Dude, this yeah, game is. If you can hear us, up. we're both. You know what Web is like anyway, all with these. This <laughs> game is the shittiest game ever. Yeah, but also, even I, 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 yeah, but, yeah, but also, how many times did you wander off for your dinner this time? <laughs> yeah. No, to be fair, we stayed. In, um, I stayed the whole way through it, but we had a couple of tea breaks and a couple oh, of. God. This, a couple you of wee breaks. You the controller but... and said, play this for me. I'm going to go make myself a rosy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was none of that. But um, we were, we hate to admit this, but we had to knock it down onto easy. <laughs> well, I did. Really? I knocked You're it down to easy and left peeps on hard or whatever no, it was. No, Webby, because <laughs> you know when, because we were literally stuck on this, people who's played it will know, yeah. we're stuck on this, like, uh, what they called the, br um, that big thing with the guns on it and the blisters. Oh, yeah, it's like a and pull it and input yeah, it's like a it's like an end of level. It's not it's not like a the main end boss, but it's like an end yeah. of level boss towards the end. I don't want to spoil it too much for people who still haven't completed it. But we were stuck on there for ages. Um, was it a couple of weeks ago? And we gave ourselves a bit of a break. Anyway, the last this last week we went back to it. Thought refresh. We know we'll be able, we'll we'll smash it. Oh my god, we must have died. I don't know fifty odd times. Yeah. And Web is like, right, I'm getting a, I'm getting YouTube up. I want to see how they've done this. Getting YouTube up. We were trying to get walkthroughs up, searching the internet, trying to figure out how to do this. We had some uh, HMV in the party with us. He was trying to talk us through it. But oh, we just couldn't Isn't do it. real name in HMF? The, HMF1 or something, yeah. 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 HMV, in it? Bless him. <laughs> but yeah, he's a good lad, actually. He's been helping me out on Gears. But um, yeah, he's so in the end, he was like, yeah, he's always on that. Um, yeah. But we'll be in the end said, right, I'm going to have to knock it down just to get this game finished. And obviously, Gears people know that one of you can knock it down onto casual, one you can be on insane, you, the person on the harder level, on the harder difficulty can sit back um, so they can get the achievement. So I thought, well, if Webby's going to do that, I'll stay, stay on hardcore. But what happened, Webby? You know when you changed it? Yeah. Because we had to start, basically, you couldn't change it halfway through a level. So we had to start the level again. So when Web, when Webby changed it down to, on his to easy, um, at the, at the, when you start playing, it comes up, you can choose your character, choose your level. Because Webby had put it on easy, mine automatically come on easy. And I <laughs> pressed the trigger to confirm it. Not no. real. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wounded, not realising until the end. And I was waiting for that hardcore Chivo to pop. <laughs> it, 
and I'd been playing it on easy with Webby the whole time. <laughs> wounded. You dribbler. I know. I was wounded about that. But I have actually been putting, apart from the campaign, I thought was a little bit, I know we've, I don't want to moan too much about it because we have sort of slated it a bit. I'm not, mm. it's not the greatest campaign. I but just I want to do say quite... one last time, worst campaign ever. Mm. Um, and and the multiplayer is is tough, but I do really it's like it's fun the... and it requires teamwork. So Webby will hate it. It's fucking shit. There's no teamwork <laughs> at all. Shotgun roll, shotgun roll. Why don't you guys just play a proper teamwork yeah, first-person but... shooter and play Rainbow Six with me? I don't understand why you won't play that. It is well, the I best. Well, I have the word "rainbow" in it, Ugh. so I'm out. <laughs> yeah, but you. Going back, going back to Gears, that night we played, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, where it was just all of us in the community were playing it. That was awesome. That was a good little... Yes, you know, thank you. Yeah, yes. that was good fun, that was. And we had Peeves, and I know Peeves, you were complaining, oh, how the bloody hell you know where, where I am? Yeah, but yeah. it's just, you learn that game, you know. And yeah, it was good fun. I enjoyed that. It was quite intense as well, because I think it, it, it was getting very close in that game. Mm. So. I'll have to do it again one day if we can get six on six or whatever it's five and five isn't it so. yeah well um i was thinking of just once we'd completed it webby i was going to trade it um because it was giving good trading prices just before the black drops. friday but i know it's so yeah it's dropped just before mm -hmm. just for black friday it dropped big time um whether it'll creep back up again or not i don't uh, know but i'll probably keep it now for the whole i did really enjoy the horde and i went with, i went in with hmf and some of his pals um and they're all like big hardcore gears fans. They're all highly ranked, and they've like done horde fifty waves on insane. And, oh wow! Um, but I went in, yeah, I went in with them, and I still doing it on casual. But they were just just showing me the ropes a bit. You know, you, you put the fabricator in a in a decent like little corner, and then you just build your defenses up, upgrade the fences, upgrade the turrets. Um, I did a bit of that with them, and then I was getting quite addicted to it. And once they'd gone off, I was, I was playing it again with some randoms. The trouble is with randoms is we do turn off really well, but then you have a couple drop out, and then in the end of it was like we'd got to like wave thirty something, and there was just two of us. And even on like casual, that is tough. So I still haven't got the achievement for doing all fifty waves. So. No, I haven't got that either. I want that at some point. I would be nice. Well, yeah, I sort of want to try this club thing. This is a good idea to try and. Um, set some up in the in the club so that we can organize it and the, try and get the, through the 50 waves the only problem is though is you need it's like three hours you need yeah you do need to set set aside oh, to do horde? Least, yeah, it's just, yeah. It's a chore. yeah not interesting yeah, well, it's only it's it's only a chore colleague if you don't like the game but i, well, I do i, like I do the game quite... just fine but I've, i remember from gears of war 2 i think was the last time i played horde and it was just i think you should just oh. give it one go Gears of War three, waves. actually. The one, the ones where you have to like build fortifications and stuff. I yeah. didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. It's shit, mate. I mean, when I do it, I feel like I'm wasting my life. Yeah. <laughs> what you don't when you well, start the final more, more so than normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. More, more so than when you've created your fifth character on Final Fantasy, whatever it is. Final Fantasy fourteen. There's only one an character. One I'm character. I'm leveling my archer. Yeah, but you level a different class for the same character. It's not like World of Warcraft. It's one character can do everything. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Multi talented. Yeah. Marcus Webus is multi talented. Is that his name? Yep. Marcus <laughs> Webus. Webus, isn't it? Webus. <laughs> <laughs> You're 16 pounds down a pan for changing your gamer tag. <laughs> yeah, we won't mention that. Anyway, you know, um... I, don't, I don't think we called you out enough for that the other week. Uh... Badger. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Anyway, peeps, is that all you've played? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, all good. Cool, right. And so, obviously, I don't know when this podcast comes out anymore, but uh, is it Tuesday still? Yeah, if I'm not too busy playing Final Fantasy, mate. Yeah, well, I'm I'm off work for a week. Um, so if people are on and want to play some Fours or some Horde, hit me up, or I'll post them on the club. Awesome stuff. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Right, so... Oh, you've talked about loads of the games I've played already. This is good stuff, yeah. man. This is good stuff. Right, I have played... Well, I just want to put a shout-out to myself. Because I have reached a milestone today. 
Do share. 200,000 gamer score. Woo! Mm, that's no easy achievement. Uh, well. I'm still at like 70 something. Uh, nub nub. Are you really, yeah. Colin? Blimey, I've caught no, you up. Just, yeah, no, I'm 80,530. Uh, yeah, I'm on 71, wow. but then I do play two consoles. Mm. Well, three, to be honest, if you include the Wii. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Um, sorry, button in, guys. But on, I, didn't, I forgot to mention my flipping horror story about my Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, I yeah. Still have your, your still have a, yeah. As you know, I pre-ordered it like when it first came out, when they first announced it with game. Put my £10 down. They said, um, yep. Yeah, being in November when it comes out, comes out. So I went in there, me and my son. Um, no, you apparently your second batch. Um, so you're end of November. Um, but that wasn't explained to me when I pre-ordered the game. Uh, fair enough. There's two batches, and I'm second. I, I, I haven't got a problem with that, but it wasn't explained to me, so I was a bit miffed about that. So I thought, well, it doesn't matter. It's only a couple of weeks anyway. We went in last Saturday. Um, well, I didn't. I sent my daughter and my son because I've done my back in, so I couldn't go out. But they went in. And uh, apparently now, um, second batch is all gone. They haven't got one for me, but they should have some in before Christmas, and I can have one then. I just it's a scandal. It's, yeah, it's they're it's all on eBay. Yeah, it's not acceptable. So I'm gonna this week. I'm gonna be ringing game head office. Call the head um, office. Right to your MP. Yeah, yeah when yes. you put a pre-order, pre they shouldn't be. Pre that's the whole point of a pre-order and putting a deposit down if they're not going to save one for you. Give that's me my money back with deposit. interest. That's what you need to say, peeps. Why did you go to game anyway? Why didn't you just order it from like Shop 2 or something like that? Oh, I don't Amazon, know. I don't really... Fucking Amazon. I don't got it really... day one. Amazon. I don't use Amazon. I don't really use any. Um, I'm still doing my tax boycott of Amazon. I haven't used them. <laughs> You're still doing that because of the yeah, tax thing. I don't wow. use them. The, the, the missus uses them all the time, and, I, and I, I'm always having a go at her about it. But the, what the about Costa Coffee? Jeff Bezos of, taking over the world, dude. Man of principles. What about Costa Coffee? Do you use them? Well, I don't. I'm not really a coffee drinker. What's all about the Rosie Lee, mate? Uh, what about what about Sports Direct? <laughs> All the tax <laughs> dodgers. <laughs> what you're saying is basically every company's tax dodgers. <laughs> yeah, every company's doing it. Dude, it is your patriotic <laughs> duty to get out of paying taxes as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm not happy with game. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I think they're, st they're still scarce everywhere. Because the thing is, I could cancel it, take my money back, but I might not be able to pick one up anywhere else. You can buy mine for 150 if you want. Well, I was thinking I could, off, I could buy Webby's because Webby was moaning about his the other week. And plus, he said in, in the party chat he's trying to sell loads of stuff off. So, yeah. I'll, yeah. 150 quid, quid, mate. Webby. 150 quid. That's what they're going for. I'll give well, you a tenner off, mate. 140. <laughs> Does it come with an extra controller? Because I've seen the controllers sell for about the same price as a mini NES. Oh, nice. Yeah. I said, yeah. mate, said to me in the shop that the second controllers have got gold dust. Yeah, even though you can just use a normal Wii U control pad, it's just madness. I'll be honest, peeps, I'd, I'll give you a bit of advice. I've only played mine once since I've got it. I haven't had the time. Uh, why don't that surprise me? So I just haven't had time. Well, you know what? I've got a lot of things going on at the moment, as you know. So, yeah. Mm. Right, <sighs> right yeah. I'm going to talk about some games now, some good games. So, first of all, Watch, Dog Watch Dogs 2. Everybody's raving about this game, which I found very surprising because the first yeah. one is need to be shite. Dude, it is really, really good. It's fantastic. And now that all the online stuff is working, it's even more fun. I had Hogarth come into my game earlier because your friends and randoms can just randomly just pop into your game if you've got the online functions set to one and they can just randomly come in and hack you then you have to try and hunt them down and stop the hack and kill them and stuff which is really really fun um but what i'm really liking about this game is it it's, like it's just the story is really really fun and out there it really takes the piss out of itself um you're all about you know you're this hacker group and you're trying to take down this corporation that's like it's kind of like big brother and you know uh, like George Orwell's 9, 1984 has come to life and 
people and this big company is spying on you for all the webcams and they have control of all your data and all that sort of stuff so you're just trying to like fuck with them basically and it's just done in a really really fun way and i'm just really really enjoying it at the moment i can't stop playing it it's so much better than the first Watch Dogs, but I was a fan of the first game, but I've heard from people that didn't like the first game that they're really digging this second one, so um, it is a bit of a shame that because of the first one, the sales on this one haven't been that great, um, mm. but it, you know, it is really, really good, and I do implore people to pick this game up because it is just so much fun. It's so It good. seems like a GTA, though. Like, Is that what it is? Uh, is, it, is it Ubisoft's GTA clone? It's so, well, well, it's an open world city, and yeah, yeah, you you can compare it to GTA because it is very, very similar. It doesn't look as polished as I'm looking at the video now on the Twitch because I haven't got the game. It doesn't look as polished mm. as GTA. Is well, it? It's it's not GTA, mate. Is it? I mean, no, it's. I, well, I mean, yeah, the, well, uh, you, uh, you say that GTA was a 360 game. Yeah, I know so, that. I mean, I mean, yeah, but the thing is, I I put GTA on recently, and I still think it looks amazing. Oh yeah, uh, way, way 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 ahead of its time for the you know for how big the city was and stuff. And I think the game looks good. Um, it runs well. It's just fun, you know. How's the story? Is it like a Mr. Robot type thing? Like yeah. Big Brother is watching us, and we must be the resistance, and that kind type of, of thing? yeah yeah. If you've yeah. seen that show, this is the game of the show, pretty much. It's so mm. good. It really, really is. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's a, it's, it really is a lot of What's fun. What's with so. the sexual deviancy on display in this game? There's a picture of a clunge on the Facebook group, and there were dogs humping it's, in a park. It's, that, um... it's just some woman. She's laying on the floor, and her minge is hanging out. Yeah, it's nothing. So, to, that's all. Nothing to write home about. Apparently, it's been patched out anyway. So. Yeah, yeah but what kind of sickos Ugh. put that into their game? <laughs> I have no you idea, mate. Sickos. <laughs> It's most probably the same dude that did the bit in Assassin's Creed remaster. This <laughs> put the weird dude that's not, you know, from the PS2 era. Uh, who knows? Who knows? So, yeah, um, Watch Dogs 2. Um, it, it is really, really fun. So, you should check it out. Check mm. it out, people. It's really, really cool. Mm. Um, so, the next game I'm going to talk about, I've actually completed it twice this week. It's only a short game. It's on Xbox One at the moment for two pounds, and that Virginia. game is Virginia, and it actually won a it actually won best indie game at a few award shows this year as well. Um, it's really really fun. So the only reason I've completed it twice is for the Chivos, because um, it is a pretty easy one thousand gamer score. So peeps, I'm sure that you'll be picking this <laughs> up at some point. Um, but um, I played it for the first time just to enjoy the story, and the second time I used to walk through just to get the achievements. But um, it's like, have you ever <laughs> have you ever watched Twin Peaks or the X Files? Yeah, yeah, I watched X Files. Yeah. It's kind of a mixture between those two, but in a game, it's all set in first person. You play as this woman who's an FBI agent, and you have to solve the mystery of um, <laughs> this of this missing person. And but it has a lot of um, let's shall we say weird stuff going on. That's all. I'm Deadly gonna... premonition. Yes. Mm. So um, I can't really. I, say a lot more about spoiling it all i just want to say is it's really, is it a walkathon really it's pretty much a walk oh here it is yeah. okay yeah it's pretty much a walk looks like firewatch a little bit yeah. like firewatch yeah yeah it's really really cool still haven't so, played that yeah it's got really cool gra movement. graphical art style um apply the lipstick yeah apply the lipstick what's the aid of the game then the aim well, yeah. What's you? You know, she's just got out of bed. What, what's she supposed to do? Just put a lipstick on, or is it? What are you? What's the story? About? Solving a murder mystery, right? Is what it is. Yeah, it's pretty much a murder mystery game. Oh, yeah. right, a murder mystery, right? Okay. Yeah. Like, like deadly premonition, and to, well, to certainly be without the shooting. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Where is it set? Is it set in the Pacific Northwest, like Twin Peaks? And it's set in. Edmonton? It's set in Virginia, mate. I was just going to say that. It must be <laughs> <laughs> It is. I thought that was the character's name. <laughs> no, that's, that's where it's set. That's why it's called Virginia. Virginia. No, that's where it's set. It's, it's £4.79, I've just been told by the Twitch. It's not £2. Oh, good old right. beers. There yeah, you go. Beers. Beer, beers is and good. And Mella. 
Um, so, obviously, we know that Final Fantasy XV is out on Tuesday. I've actually been playing uh, the Japanese demo. Uh, only came out in Japan. And um, Genki desu. So I, so I actually finished the whole demo in Japanese, not knowing what was going on. I had to make a Japanese PlayStation account just for this game. <laughs> just so God. I could download the demo. I really enjoyed it. It's so much fun. Uh, even on the demo, you can see like the world map is absolutely huge. Um, it's pure open world. Um, boss battles were immense. I mean, it was just so... Oh, I, I can't wait for this game. It's just really, really good. The, co the combat is good. The open world is great. Your car is really, really cool. Uh, I can't wait for this game, man. It's just going to be so much fun. And one thing that I think is really, really cool about this game is it's also not aimed at fans of Final Fantasy. I think if you've never played a Final Fantasy game before, you could pick this up and have a really, really good time. I'm looking at the combat. What is the combat on this? Is it actually just hack and slash, or is it actual? Yeah, short yeah. Term? It's, it's a Can't bit, work it out. No, there's no, there's, there's no um, turn base. No? It's not turn base. It's like a hack and. So it's a bit like Devil May Cry oh, right, sort okay. of fighting. Yeah, I'm just trying to find Never some good pieces those. of gameplay on this video. Um, yeah, they're hack and slash, and you know, counter moves. What is that happening? Kind of yeah. Yeah, okay. so yeah, it's hack and slash, uh, you block, you parry, all, all, all that yeah. sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's really, really good. It's so much fun. I mean, if you enjoyed, like, the Devil May Cry games, I think you would enjoy this. So, yeah, Final Fantasy XV for the is, win. Is it, um, is this an, um, a single player game or is this an online story game? So, it's a single-player experience, uh, but they've already announced that one of the um, add-ons that you can purchase at some point down the line includes a four, some four-player co-op missions, because you go for the whole game as a team of four people. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like. So, yeah, quite interesting. Um, also, they've brought out a film and an anime for this as well, so they're really enriching the world. And making it amazing, so I can't wait. I actually went to the cinema to watch the movie a couple of days ago as well. How was that? It was really, really cool. Did you wet yourself? Yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really, really cool, mate. Oh, it was just, it's just a good thing, you know, as a massive fan, it's um, something that you don't see many games, well, you don't see any other games doing because they don't have the fan base, so... Mm -hmm. It does look um, nice graphically. I'm looking at it. I must have yeah, the graphics are great. And also, if you have a PS Pro, um, it's 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 optimised for that as well. So, Switch will be very happy. What did you buy it on? Xbox. For the Chivos. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's fantastic. So, um, uh, that is that. So, I will swiftly move on to some other games talked about virginia um i've been playing a lot of rainbow six siege with the berg baron this week everyone who doesn't know the berg baron it's berg mm -hmm. uh, he's changed his name to the berg baron um still loving rainbow six siege uh, i know beers is a massive fan as well so um i want to see more people playing this it seems to be quite popular with a lot of community members still so um, absolutely fantastic game. I really want Colly Wally to pick it up, but I know he won't because he's a which game love. again? Rainbow Six Siege. Not happening. Oh. I got Battlefield. Count your blessings. Oh, come on! Play some Rainbow Six with me. Nom, 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 nom. You know you want to. I don't. It, it. You drive a remote-controlled car and you blow things up with it, right? Yeah, but that's no. only to... Go on. Sorry. Oh, I've got. I've, I've put the video in the stream. It will pop up in a minute. But yeah, it's quite. Um, you know, it's a fun game. So, um, anyway, that's all I want to say. Rainbow Six Siege is awesome. Um, I did to try. I did try and play some Elite Dangerous this week. Um, still have no idea what's going on with that at all. Um, I was cruising around the empty space just randomly, and the net. An enemy player came up to me and blew me up in about two hits. So uh, that that was the end of my session because I turned it off after that because I wasn't sure what to do. So 
Um, yeah, if someone can train me and Collie to play, that'd be great. So, uh, and the last couple of games I've been playing, um, I'm gonna, I'm, well, one of them I'm gonna save for Stunty to talk about actually, so I'm gonna delete that off my list. So two more games I've played. One of them is The Division. A new update came out. Uh, it's called Survival. And it's really, really fun. I had a really good time with it. Um, <coughs> big shout out to Two Rooms. And uh, a couple of his buddies. I joined them. And we had a really great time on it. So basically, with this add-on, your dude gets cold, hungry, and thirsty. And you have an infection that will kill you within an hour. Unless you give yourself some medicine. And for our first go, we did really, really well because you have to make yourself a mask. So you have to loot stuff to make a mask so you can get into the dark zone to extract some stuff and then extract yourself. We actually made it into the dark zone, which was amazing in itself because most people don't. And basically the session is a two hour long session and you and there's like 24 people were in the zone. And every time someone dies, it comes up on the screen 19 players left 18 players left and we were in the last five players left within the whole session so we we did really well for a first time and you know we had a really good laugh on it it was just so much fun um yeah we really enjoyed it so yeah really good times uh i know switch has been enjoying it i know tim's a bit on the fence with it but um yeah really really good so uh and last game i've been playing Obviously, apart from Final Fantasy XIV, I've been playing... I started playing EVE Online yesterday. My god. Tell me why you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. We went free what, to... you like it? Yes. It went free Ooh. to play. So I was like, right, I'm going to download this. And I downloaded it yesterday afternoon. And I think I, pl I turned it on this morning. Well, like yesterday, I think I played it for about... How long did I play it for Leon yesterday? About six hours? Too long. Yeah, about six hours yesterday, and it's been on running on my PC since about 10 o'clock this morning. And I'm still playing it right now as I talk to you. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit addicting. <laughs> is Leon playing it? No, one of her friends introduced it to me, was, talk, uh. was talking to me about it yesterday, and I was like, oh, I've got to check this out, and now I'm completely hooked on it. Yeah, so he sent me a friend code, so I've got a lot of extra cool stuff, so, um, I'm really, so at the moment, I'm, I've been mining an, an asteroid. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what happens. This is mm. what happens, so, if you look at my screen, you can see my little ship. Come on, show us, show us, you mining an asteroid. Well, I've actually mined, I've actually filled up my, my inventory, so I'm actually gonna have to, uh, Go back to base. And, uh... Let's have a look. Jump through Stargate. Yeah, so... And you moan at me for playing Tomorrow's Children when I'm digging a hole. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but the cool thing is, like, I can, like, leave my ship to mine for an hour and then I can just go and do other stuff, so... Um, well, how do you get elsewhere, then? Well, you've got to cut the ships on the go, then, have you? Yeah, so you can have like a few a few ships on the go, but uh, well, a few characters on the go. But I've just got the one because I'm a nub nub. The training, so they've got this is how complicated the game is, right? The training missions took me about three hours just to train, and I still don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time, and I'm having to go into this little rookie help chat box, and I'm always in there going, oh, "What do I do? I'm stuck." <laughs> When did this game come out? I'm looking at the. Gra it looks like it's. It looks quite old. It is. It's about a ten-year-old game now. Oh, was it? I have heard yeah. of it, but I don't know when. You know, how old it is. Uh. Yeah, it's quite an old game now. So, um, but uh, the graphics aren't too bad. I mean, it runs. It you know it runs on a lot of stuff. Uh, but is this yeah. a game nerds play? Is it then? Pretty much, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> But it is a really, really good game, because apparently, like, you can... Because it's free-to-play, but there is a paid-for version as well, which gives you more stuff. I'm just in the free-to-play stuff, just to give it a go. And, you know, it's got... You know, like, I think Colin would really dig this, because, you know, it's got, like, real-world, like, kind of 
financials, how like you know, yeah, financial system. Look, work, I've been intrigued or... by this a lot because at the macro level, the the betrayals and the scheming, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, seems like it's really deep, and and it requires a lot of like real life. Um, I don't know. It, it, the subterfuge and the politicals and the schemings all seems really, really cool. But what I've heard with this game is it's all or nothing. You know, like it has to be all your similar to any other kind of MMO, right? Like Warcraft or whatever. Like in order to get because because the economy matters so much because yeah. you need money to buy good ships. Yeah. You've got to be spending a lot of time to get, you know, to to save that money and to accumulate, you so know, the wealth that you need. So, what, one of my friends, the, this is the thing, that, like, the reason why I was quite interested in this, because my mate was, uh, one of, well, Leon's friend was telling me, like, you can set your skills, and they take, like, three days to, like, in real time to, like, unlock. So you can kind of, like, set it to unlock some skills and then not play it for three days. Or if you want to set your ship to go mining, it will take a few hours to mine. So you, you know, and it's and the game is so low re resource heavy. You can have it just in a window like I have here. I just have it in a little window, and um, you can just have it running in the background whilst playing another game. So that's what I've been doing today, just having it running on a window whilst playing Final Fantasy or on my Xbox or whatever. Um, you know, so it's not. It doesn't have to take your full attention, which is kind of why I was intrigued. So, you know, I've only got a nub nub ship. This is a a mining ship that I've got here. So basically, I'm just going around and mining stuff. But you see, on the right hand side, I've got these agents of interest. So basically, they give me missions to do, start conversations with them, uh, and then they send me on missions, and then they give you little waypoints. Some some of them give you waypoints in the galaxy, and you go and travel. And sometimes it can take like ten minutes just just to travel somewhere a bit, a bit like elite. Um, but mm. yeah, you know, I've been I've been really enjoying it, and I know it's an old game, but you know, gra graphically, I think I think it's pretty good for for an old game, and uh, you know, it will run on quite low end machines as well so i've got me i've got metafella in the twitch chat saying it's really really good so you know that's one person who, who agrees with me but it's you know it, it's a cool little thing um I'll, i'm gonna give it some more time because i say it's very very complicated i still really because i've not really played it a lot compared to like how long it's been out for i i'm still very much of a nub nub and i'm there's so much to learn but it's fun, man. It's really, really fun. So I'm going to be playing this a lot. How do you decide what you're going to play at any given time with every all the games you have on the go? I It's a struggle. I mean, I think Stunty can testify to this, that um, I sometimes turn on my Xbox, for, for example, and I'll spend, spend about 20 minutes deciding what game to play. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, if you look at my Steam as well, I've got so many games on my Steam account as well, which, you know, it's just game after game after game. You know what I mean? So it's just, oh, I don't know. I've just got to think of a, what, what sort of a mood I'm in and just play, play something. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. But obviously, from from next week, it will be Final Fantasy. I'll probably be having e I'll probably be playing Eve on the side whilst playing Final Fantasy fifteen next week. So, and uh, I mean, normally I look at what everyone's playing on my friends list, and then I'm if whoever's playing like a mul like for for example a multiplayer game, if someone's playing I don't know Rainbow or Battlefield or even you with Overwatch, and I'm like right, I'm in the mood for that. I'll jump in with them and and, and mm -hmm. have a go. So. That's kind of how I decide. So I don't know. It's not probably the 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 greatest method, but yeah. There we go. Anyway, that's all I've been playing this week. What about you, uh, Stunny? Yeah, um, I'm just going to say actually, all the uh, games we talk about, you put them on the Twitch channel, don't you? Yeah, right. and the and the games that you talk about as well, I'll be yeah, yeah. on the Twitch channel. I'll have, I'll have to make sure next time I come on, I play Rambo. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, um, I've actually been playing a little game that um, is actually in the sale at the moment that I've been after for a while um, because I watched a bit of it and it looked quite fun. And I thought, oh, this should be perfect for Christmas as well. Is Overcooked, which yes. is a uh, top-down 
food game. <laughs> Basically, you are a, a chef and you're seeing you're looking above uh, of a kitchen where you have all certain things in the kitchen from a cooker to a sink to you know your usual stuff like a plate and all your food and what you have to do is you will get a thing up in the top uh, left corner that says that uh, someone outside on the request thing would like you to make a certain piece of food so you will have a bit like you know you're working in like a restaurant so what will happen is uh, it will start the game will give you say three minutes and you need to make say a burger so you need to get your usual you know your top uh, your buns you need to then get your uh, burger itself you need to i don't know why you have to you have to chop it for some reason and then you actually put it on the pan and you cook it um you get other things you make like um tomatoes you can have like a tomato soup and you have to you have to chop three tomatoes up but you put one in then you go and get another one, chop that one up and put that in. While this is doing it, the actual food is starting to cook. You have to quickly take it off in a certain time because if you don't, you set fire to your kitchen. And then once you've actually taken it off the pan, you then put it on a plate and then you actually then serve it to a, uh, what do they call them things in America? I can't remember what they call it. It's a rolling, oh, what do they call them? Can you think Conveyor of belt? That's it, conveyor belt, yeah. Uh, you put it on a conveyor belt, it will then give you money. It will give you like four tips or eight tips, something like that. And the aim of the game is, is you've got to get so many tips. If you get uh, 60 tips, you get one star. If you get 120, you get two stars. The more, if you get a star, it then opens up another level. A bit like Mario is in like, you know, you open up different, the more stars you get, the more of the game you can complete. Um, there's other things that happen in the game so you can have a bit where on at the moment on the twitch uh you're on a pirate ship and the the actual um uh what do you call them the um oh, i'm trying to think of the word uh the tables that you know you put all your food on is moving around every now and again um there's other ones where uh you can have two cars joined together and what happens is one of the cars will move forward and then the other car will stay behind. So what happens if if you're playing on your own, which I haven't played this on, on my own, I've played with my daughter, you have to work together. So you have one on one side and one on the other side. So one gets the food, one takes the burgers off and stuff like that. It's fun. It's very fun. I think it's great. I've been playing it with my daughter. I haven't played it on my own. I don't even know if you can play it sync just one person. Have you played it on your own, Webby? Yeah, so I was just going to say that I've actually given the game a little go because Kirk downloaded it, I'm guessing, just mm. so his kids could play it. So I thought, you know, I'd give it a go. I asked Leon if she wanted to play Carp. She said no. So I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to play it on my own. And, you know, it's playable, but it would probably be a little bit easier with two people because you are controlling two people with one controller, like, sw ah, like switching right. between okay. them. Um, right. But yeah, it's, it is a lot of fun. It does remind me of an old arcade game a little bit. What's it called? The one where you have to chuck beers at people or something? Tapper. Yeah, Root Beer Tapper. It kind of yeah. reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, you know, yeah, it's a good little game. It's really, really fun. I'm not sure how much it is because I didn't, I didn't pay for it. It was um, £10. Okay. Uh, that wow, that's a lot for something uh, like this. No? Well, bucks, that, maybe? that was in the sale. That was in the sale, that was. I mean, it's normally about 16 quid. That did come with all the extra... I think there's some DLC that came with it as well. I mean, to be honest, I think this game's great. I mean, I mean, I ended up having a flipping argument with my daughter over the game because she wasn't cooking the burgers quick enough. <laughs> yeah. Same screen, right? Like, That's hilarious. For, is it up to four people on the same screen at the same time? Is yeah, that... you can do. Yeah, you, I mean, you can do multiplayer on this as well, I've been told. So, I mean, th th then you are going to properly argue because you're going to be like, what? Where, where's the food? Where, where, why's the tomato on a boat and it's moving back and forth? Lol. Yeah. Oh, Colin, I can imagine you and your two sons playing this. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, but it, I have it, to look, is this an indie title? Uh, well, it's a so. full title, isn't it? It's on the Xbox Store and it's on the PlayStation Store. So, is it? I, th I think it's an indie developer. Um, it's actually no, it's Team Seventeen, isn't it? Yeah, it is a Team Seventeen. Yeah, yeah, who do worms? Yeah. So, but um, I just think it's, I just think it's hilarious. I just think it's fun, and I just think it, coming up to Christmas. At Christmas, I always put party games on. We always normally fire up Mario Party and play some of them kind of games. Yeah. And I just thought, this is perfect, because we just all sit around Christmas Day, start, you know, got to do the food and the rest of it, you know, preparing it. But you have you have to work together. You can't just, 
you know, one just goes here and one goes there. You've got to say, right, I'll do the chopping. I'll pass you the tomatoes and stuff like that, or the burgers. I mean, the, the one I did it's with the car. Supply cart. chain management. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to get on this. Hmm. So, and if anyone does get on this, I'd like to do some multiplayer. If we can get, if we can get four on this, because <laughs> I've played two. It'll turn, it'll turn friends into bitter enemies. <laughs> yeah, it will do. Because that was the other thing. When I was playing with my daughter, we ran out of plates. I said, why haven't you washed the plates up? Because you have to wash the plates up as well. <laughs> so, because uh, it's great. I mean, it's, um, I don't know how big the game is, because I've got to the second world now. Because you have, like, worlds. and you, I don't know why you drive this little car through to different sections but um i'm not sure how big the game is but it's great 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 fun and some of the stars start to get really hard to get uh, fun times mate um and the um the other game uh, well i've actually got two other games I'll, I'll speak about an old game actually i've been playing before i start about the next new one and that is um i've been playing on the ps3 um, and I've been playing with Mr. Headcase, Operation Flashpoint. I'll and be I'll, damned. Old school. Uh, and I tell you what, that game is still awesome. It is a brilliant game. And I really one day hope we get something like that again. Um, it's just proper. It's called Armour 3. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is called Armour 3, but it's just not on the PlayStation or the Xbox, is it? But it's just still an awesome game. I mean, we've spoke about it over the years anyway. It still runs great. Do you know what? There's still people playing it as well. And the servers are still online. So, that yeah, that's what's awesome about the game. I mean, me and Headcase jumped into a game because I'm trying to do all the story. Because I've done it all on the Xbox, but I want to do it on the PlayStation for the trophies. And um, I got halfway through and I just left the... Um, uh, option open so that anyone can join so headcase jumps in with me for a bit um and then we had two other randoms come in and they were proper high ranked and i tell you what it was it was brilliant i mean they one of them went running up the road chucked some c4 on the road and then we had this big explosion where i said it was proper going off you know but it it was awesome you know brilliant yeah. brilliant game i mean I, I i mean i played the hell out of this on the xbox 360 back in the day i ranked up every single character to the max level um, just, that's how much I played it, and I'm probably going to look at seeing if I can pick up a PS3 copy at some point just to play with you and Headcase because hmm. you've probably picked up for about two, three quid now. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, because it's just such a fun game, and you know, it'd be nice to uh, play a really good game like that with some people on, online again. So yeah, uh, I am up for it. Well, cool. I noticed that this is uh, now actually appeared on the backwards compatible on the Xbox hasn't it but you have to have the disc yeah because it's, yeah, it's not it's not available on download which is redonk because mm, yeah, i don't know because i don't have the disc anymore so it's bloody annoying well i do but i don't know where it is at the moment because of the process of moving stuff around so no idea but i had as i say i picked up the ps3 version i've noticed the xbox version's gone up actually all the all the games that are on backwards compatible have gone up in value um most probably game and cex has just jumped on the bandwagon they're trying to rinse some money out of people yeah uh, i mean i'm just watching a video at the moment and, and and the graphics still look pretty good as well they don't look bad i bought this game i bought this title at best, um a used copy of this well was it dragon rising that what were the two ones that like dragon, so rising? dragon rising and this one is red river <laughs> yeah which one was which one was earlier uh Dragon Rising was the first one, and Red River's... That's okay. the hardest one, that yeah. is. I thought that was a lot harder than the second one. Yeah, yeah. I think I bought Red River then, and I, I, I played it with you guys one time, and to be honest, it seemed really dry and bland oh, overall. It's, it's brilliant, yeah. mate. you just got to get into it, you know. If you like your military shooters, and this is, like, the pinnacle for consoles, you know, the, the next best thing uh, is Armour 3 yeah. on the... Um, PC, but Codemasters are, are a fantastic company for making good, good games like this. The, the thing with this game as well is you, there, there's no muck, you can't run, you can't run around like COD on this because you're just going to get destroyed, and it doesn't take much to get hit in this game, mm -hmm. and you end up on the floor and you've got to bandage yourself, and then the next thing you know, you could get hit again. That's it, you're out. You know, you then have to respawn, and sometimes you have to wait to respawn as well on certain sections. So, I mean, we had one section where we had to hold a line. And then, then they started, we had all these tanks coming in towards us. Then we had to go back to the next line back. 
and it, it was it was proper full on, you know, because it was like head case goes right, you know, you you run ahead and I'll I'll try and hold him back, and then he he fell down the floor, and then I had to try and run back and pick him up, and we just got out of there before it all kicked off. Do you, you know, do the PlayStation party chat on the PS3 yeah. as well, don't you? Well, mm. well, it's not party chat, it's in-game chat. Oh, PlayStation right, yeah. doesn't have party chat, does oh, it? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, so yeah. It, it sounded right. It was, yeah, it got it to work. I mean, it took a while to get it to work, to be honest, at first, because I didn't know how to do it on the PlayStation, because I never used party chat, well, you know, game chat on it. So, but I haven't, I haven't been back to it since, because, well, other things have been out, but I, I want to go back to it at some point and uh, crack on with it. I know Headcase is actually, I think he's got the full... Um, he's got all the trophies on it, I think. Nice, and and you can use your uh, PS4 controller on your PS3 as well, can't you? If you plug yes. in the wire, which is pretty yes. cool. So. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, that, that, that. that's why I'm kind of keen on it. So mm. yeah, cool. Um, and the last game that I've played, I've played the first chapter on, which um, is uh, Recore. Uh, How's that? Is, oh yeah, tell me about that because it, it's it's appeared on my Xbox. Thanks, oh, was Kirk. It? Kirk. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Kirk. Thank, thank you, Kirk. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Mello, because he bought it for me. Uh, the um, it's it's a uh, third person um, adventure game. Um, you play this character. Um, I can't remember her bloody name now. Um, she looks a little bit like the the girl from um, Tomb Raider, um, and she has a uh, robot dog. Um, basically, you're on this uh, island, well, planet. Sorry. That um, and you've you've woken up from being asleep for so many years. I think it's two hundred years. You've woken up from being asleep, and everything's changed. Um, graphically, yeah, it's quite a nice looking game. Um, but you, there's lots of jumping around. You do certain things where you will jump, and then you will double tap, and then you will jump again at the same time. And then if you help, if you then push the B button, it will then do like a. Um, uh, it's like a zoom mode where it would just zoom across the map slightly, you know, to get you around. It then does its normal shooting, which is, to be honest, it reminds me of Earth Defense Force, that kind of um, third person style shooting. Um, it's very repetitive from what I've played of it so far. It's, you, you get to certain bits where you'll come up against uh, these certain creatures, which at the moment on the Switch channel we're not seeing. Uh, you'll come up to these creatures, and what you have to do is you have to shoot them. Um, and then you use your boost button on your on your shooting mechanic, and then you actually have to use like um, a grab, which basically chucks like this torque torque bow thing, hits the middle of their body, and then you have to sort of pull on it. Now I can't remember what other game did that. There was another game that did this pull mechanic, and basically you're taking out their soul out of these robots. Um, is it a good game? I don't know. It's fun, but I did feel like when I got to one of the boss bits, it, I felt like I was doing the same thing over and over again. Um, that was the problem with the game. And then after that, I then come to a big boss and you then have to do the same with that big boss. You have to sort of like shoot it. It puts its shields up. So you then have to keep shooting its shields. You then wait until its shields drops and then you have to then try and chuck this torque bow at it. And then you've then got to try and pull it out. And it's real fiddly trying to get this thing to release its, like, inner brain, you know, sort of soul. Um, but that's the first level. But I've been told from what I've read that the whole game is very, very much the same. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But as I say... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, sit, I'm gonna carry on with it. As I say, I've only done the first chapter at the moment, but I can see why. I mean, because it wasn't a full type, a full size price, was it? I think it's thirty quid, wasn't it? This game when it came out, and now uh, it's too super cheap in the sales. Apparently, I think it was fifteen yeah. quid in the sale. Yeah, so. it didn't do very well, did it? it? It flopped, didn't it? It came out and just went straight under the radar and disappeared. And I think I can see why. I mean, we're coming up to a bit now. So you use this extracting where you just pull in on this bit of rope. And that's what you do against boss battles as well. Um, and sometimes it could be a real pain in the ass because you're trying to do that with a boss battle. And you've got some other creatures as well shooting at you. So it can put you off what you're doing. Um, but um, I'll carry on. I'll give you another verdict the next, next time I'm on what I think of it. Um, I don't really know what the dogs, why you've got a robot dog. Um, you can use the robot dogs on certain enemies. You can actually, um, if you uh, shoot at certain enemies and then you, you use the right trigger at a certain point, 
I think it's the right trigger. I think if some you push it in, it will then allow the dog to then run at the enemies and just it sort of does like a charge attack at them and just blows them up. Um, but who knows? I'm not sure on this. I'm, it's yeah, fifteen quid is most probably. Well, I didn't pay for it anyway, but yeah, if you're buying it for fifteen quid, I think you'll have fun with it. But I think you might get a bit bored of it soon. So who knows? And cool. uh, that's it. That's all I played. Sweet, Collie Wally. Yeah, I've just been playing the trifecta of Overwatch, Titanfall 2, and Battlefield. So I think we've talked about all of those um, for a pretty lengthy amount of time. I don't have. Uh, I finished the campaign since the last time I recorded on Titanfall 2 um, and, and enjoyed it. The story's not really there, but just if you're willing to kind of set that aside, um, there's not a lot of backstory created. You have no idea who these different factions are and what they're fighting for. Uh, or what the reason for all of it is, but it's got kind of a cool self-contained story um, and a cool kind of connection um, to your, you know, your Titan in the story. My <laughs> my son admitted, he was like, yeah, I, I asked him if he cried at the end. I won't spoil, well, I'm probably spoiling it, but he said that, yes, he did cry a little bit at the end of Titanfall 2. It's oh, got a sad God. ending. <laughs> so he's, nine, he's eight years old. Cut him some slack. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, Man that's up. done, and I want people to play Overwatch with me. Please. Thank you. There we go. Right, uh, I'm going to do some questions. If uh, if you've got any questions in the Twitch chat, feel free to just chuck, chuck them in the chat. Uh, I'm going to go through some of the Facebook questions now while uh, while we wait for those. Is Peeps still there? No, Peeps no, left no. ages ago. So, Nikki Wilson says, now you get PS4 Pro, Xbox One, PC versions of games, along with most publishers having embargoes on game reviews until it's already out. Will this make people not pre-order as many games and wait for a review and to see which version runs better and if the game is any good? Uh, to be honest, if, if, if I see something I like, I might buy it day one regardless. I mean, at the moment, I haven't bought anything to be honest, because of money. But, I mean, next year there's a game I do want, and that's Hellblade. And to be honest, I'm going to buy that regardless of what I've seen in reviews, because I just think it looks awesome. And also from the format of what they've made before, like in Enslaved. So that's why it's a day one purchase. Fair so, enough. I mean, mm -hmm. I, um, I don't really listen to reviews anyway. I think I know from myself if I'm going to lock a game or not before it comes out anyway. Um, so, for me... Xbox all the way anyway, so there we go. Um, Arif Ra says, what does everyone think about the rumoured price of the Scorpio of $800? What? Uh, not happening. It, it won't sell if it's that price. I Dude. guarantee it'll be cheaper than that. It won't be that price. Yeah. I, I think they released 500. it for four or five. You yeah, know, they, four, yeah, four, four hundred pounds. They'd take a loss on it if it I comes. Mean, to yeah, it. I mean the Xbox One S is already selling for two fifty right now on Black Friday deals, and that's with a game and a gift card. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know when the Scorpio is going to come out, but I can't imagine it being more than two hundred dollars more than that. It's it's a great time to be a game at the moment. I mean the, the sales at the moment on the PlayStation and the Xbox. I mean two twenty five. I've seen Xbox ones with FIFA or Battlefield one. It's I mean it's brilliant, isn't it? If you're a gamer and a PS four, you can get them for two hundred. You know, brilliant time for gamers. But the Wii U still dear <laughs> two fifty, isn't it? Ugh. Just hey, I have a question for you guys about like because some of my kids' friends are contemplating. Yeah, their parents are contemplating them getting a console for. For Christmas, do you think like um, one of the major barriers to entry is you buy the console for whatever price, then you have to buy a game, then you have to buy, then you have to spend fifty or sixty dollars for the year long membership so you can even play multiplayer? Like I'm, I'm thinking if the if the if the console makers were smart, like if a year of free gold would come with an Xbox One. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, yeah, I think so. Good, yeah. But but I think personally, you you could get away with having an Xbox One with gold and not really buying many games because you get the games of gold every month games so, gold. Uh, yeah. and and ea access that's all you really need to be honest yeah but I, but it's always about like what if i'm gonna buy a console for my kid what are my kids they're bugging me to get one because they're playing it at their friend's house or whatever mm -hmm. they're gonna want to play the game that their friends are playing right and so yeah. uh, that's usually not a games of gold but for more sophisticated gamers like ourselves yeah, the gold stuff helps, but it's usually stuff that's at least six months old, if not for you know, if not older, that comes along. 
Yeah, because all the kids. But your Call point of is Duty. well taken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Call yeah. of Duty, Titanfall, you know that stuff. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> But there's there's also the free stuff, isn't there now? On I don't know about well, PlayStation's got a couple of bits, but I know the Xbox has got. I mean, my daughter plays Roblox. That's mm-hmm. a free game. All that, the kids are on Roblox, dude. Mm, All the young but, kids. But I noticed on that game anyway because I've watched my daughter, and there's there's lots of different games on it. It's not just one game. It, there's there's murder mystery, you know, which mm-hmm. I, I was a bit surprised when she was playing that, and she's got to go around killing everyone, <laughs> which was a bit worrying. So, but then I worked out it wasn't that harmful, but. You know, but that's the thing. We are getting a lot more free games, which is also great for the kids because, you know, they're not going to have money, are they? So it's brilliant, stuff like that. Uh, you know. Yep. Right. So we move on. Swiftly moving on. Swiftly yes. moving on. Uh, Arif, again, who bought anything on this Black Friday con? If so, what have you found? What bargains have you found? Um, Nothing. Um, I didn't buy anything. I bought Battlefield One for twenty-seven dollars. I know Skyrim Remastered Edition is down to th- you know half price on the Xbox One store. Um, it sounds like COD um, Infinite Warfare with the COD Four is down to a, the the price of a full t- price title. So before it was like eighty dollars for the for the version that comes with COD Four. Now it's down to sixty. So. Those are a couple things that people might be jumping on. Overwatch is $35. Get it if you don't already have it, bastards. Uh, <laughs> We're going to... Do you know what? If they release a another version of Overwatch, just like, like I, mean, I know they won't because I don't think there's any DLC that's chargeable anyway. But if they ever release like a game of the year, Overwatch, you should have you on the front cover saying, buy it, yes. people. <laughs> buy it now. Slag. <laughs> Troll ups. Um, I didn't buy anything. To be honest, the um, Friday sales, I didn't see anything that was really great to buy, apart from Overcooked, as I say. Um, even out on the street, I went to Sainsbury's and Tesco's because I was at work and I just had to get food and stuff. And I didn't see anything in there that was worth buying. I mean, they had Titanfall 2 for 28 quid. I think COD they had in there, but it wasn't both editions and it's still too expensive. So... Uh, um, but no, the only thing I bought was a fire stick for my for my dad. So he wanted one of them for certain reasons. Cool. Right, there's uh, some 4K chat going on in the Twitch. Uh, Arif says, I have a 4K LG smart TV. Would that work with the Scorpio? I don't have ultra 4K. Gamox says, 4K is the new 3D. 3D died. <laughs> it did die. Yeah, 3D did die. Even though you still get films in 3D. Away. Don't you? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, people bang on about 4K like it's the second coming of Christ or something. Um, I think it's still a bit confusing for consumers with this, with especially mm. with this HDR thing. I think people who bought a 4K TV early have been a bit fucked over, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it's it reminds some... me that. It, sorry to say, it reminds me the whole um, what was the Xbox thing they did that I've got one somewhere HD DVD. It reminds oh, yeah. me of that and Blu-ray. It just reminds me of that, but for TVs. And one of them, you know, I know it isn't, but it is confusing. You know, it's a mindful. Yeah. Uh, also, when when HD TVs came out, there was those TVs that said HD ready, and they weren't actually full HD. So you got to be quite careful. And it's definitely yeah. worth way waiting a few years. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna see how it pans out over the next couple of years, and maybe invest. I don't know. So I'm quite happy with just HD, to be honest with you. But that's just, you know, what I'm used to. So, um, okay, uh, Steve Haven says, of all the F2P, F free-to-play games, what do you think the best one is without spending real dollar to get ahead? And he's not talking about games for gold, he's talking about, you know, mm. actual Free free-to-play to games. games, yeah. Tomorrow, children. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I like that game. <laughs> it's supposed to be crap, but I love it. I think it's great. It's very therapeutic, that's why I play it. Uh, and War Warframe, that's the other one. I've heard good that's... things about Warframe, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, there's a game yeah, on Steam think. I've been playing called Heroes and Generals. That's oh. free to play us. That's quite cool. Mm. 
Alright, so I've got a couple more questions. Uh, Elliot Hanton, No Man's Sky is releasing a massive patch to try and draw people back in. It's been conveniently announced before Cyber Monday. Anyone going to fall for this trap? No. Mm, I'm still playing it. So, well, I haven't oh, played right. recently, but I will, I will still play it. I haven't finished it, to be honest. I haven't been back to it since I played it the first week. Well, I, I picked it up cheap. I picked it up for about £15. So, for me, I don't think it's... Uh, you know, everyone slagged it off, but then I think I slagged it off because it was a full price title. 15 quid, it's fine. It reminds me of an indie game now, which is what it should have been originally. So. Cool. Um, just talking about the the free-to-play games, Bears has come out on the chat and said World of Tanks, which I hear is actually really, ah, yeah. really good. Yeah. So. yeah. We should all try that one day, actually. Uh, it's but... been on the 360 for a while, hasn't it? It's World on the tanks. one. It's on the one, yeah. isn't it? Uh, I know it's on the PlayStation, but I don't know if it... I think it is. Uh, that'd be quite fun to see us all in tanks. I bet you Webby still gets shot out of the front because <laughs> he runs off, well, drives off. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's all the questions. Anything else, guys, you want to mention? No. Good no. chat. Thanks, Thanks for chat. having me on. It's been mm, emotional. I'm going to get back to my EVE online. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. I want to play some Forza. Uh, I'll play Overwatch. Ugh, loser. Quiet. Fair enough. Yep. Right, well, we're going to end it here then. Um, so thank you very much, guys, for coming on. Big thank you to um, the Twitch chat. Old Dudette has mentioned uh, also Fractured Space as a free-to-play game, which I forgot to mention because I have been playing that on PC as well, so that's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, World of Tanks, I've tried but not really gotten into, but I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to give it a go if people are going to play with, with me, so there we go. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so thank you very much from me, Mark Webb, Gamertag, Pearson ID, Steam ID, Webby317. And from me, number one Stuntmaster. And from me, Collie Wally. So thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to visit the website, mojo-interactive.net. It's had a redesign, so make sure you check that out. If it's actually working properly, it might actually be be Twitch streaming. I, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully it's working. I don't know. But yeah, just, just give that a go. And uh, you can find us on Twitter at mojo underscore int and facebook.com forward slash 360 gamecast. So thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Cool. Right, lads. Uh, what now? Let's play. Let's download World World of Tanks. Have you ended the chat? No, we're still streaming. This is out to no. Mac. All I've got is a Mac. We had fifteen people. Dude, it's on. It's end. on Xbox, mate. It's on Xbox oh, is that One. Meant? Yeah. That um World of Tanks. The only thing with that though, it's a big old download. I think it's about forty gig in it or something. Oh, I forgot yeah. that. Well, yeah. Did you talk about um, e or uh, Elite Dangerous? I did. I, I mentioned that I flew I around for a minute, Low. and I f and I got killed, and then I and turned quickly it off. switched it off. Yeah. <laughs> did um. So who's watched the Grand Tour then? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I watched really the first episode. It. I didn't see the second episode yet. Uh, Is it available? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it's out. I watched it this morning. Um, I think the second episode is. I thought it's. I think it's better than the first episode. Is that where first, they go to Johannesburg? Yeah, yeah, it was quite entertaining. There, there was one bit in the first episode which I thought was a little bit karaoke, um, sort of like not karaoke, um, pantomime. Sorry, that's what I mean. It was like a bit of pantomime sort of. Sketch. They were making it up as they went. Yeah, just a little bit of that. But the second episode is good. There's some flipping hilarious bits in it as well. Mm. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's it's very Top Gear format. You can tell. But Dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard Amazon has given them like two hundred million dollars an episode or something like wow, that. Wow, that's for donk. Yeah, not not that not paying them, but like that's the budget for yeah. travel, production, and all that stuff. And gosh, the first one was really impressive. They went to that racetrack in um, Portugal, and you know had all those they had the Ferrari and the. Porsche and the McLaren all going up against each other. I thought that was pretty freaking sweet, dude. Yeah, that you can was tell good. they do a lot with drones as well. Um, the, lots of filming from a drone's point of view as they're flying over the racetrack mm. and stuff. Yeah, really cool. 
Yeah, they they spent a bit of money again on this episode and the, you know, the second one. They, they do, I'm not going to say what it is, but you can just tell there's a bit of cash spent. So, what kind of cars did they have on the second one? Or is that they've, got a, they've got a really lovely Aston Martin. Um, uh-huh. but it's not it's not road legal though, but it's one of these uh-huh. special uh, track cars you buy. It's a crazy beast, um, really mad. That's about it, really, because. Then they go to, um, I can't remember, I think they went to Georgia uh, to do this thing that was doing this certain rescue or hostage. What, the former Soviet satellite? No, what's that? Georgia in the United States or Georgia yes. in the Caucasus Mountains? Okay. No, uh, well, it's the place where they do all the, um, all the training. All the Americans, all the soldiers go for training. Oh, there. oh, special, oh. Special oh. forces by the look of it. Uh, something island. What is it? It's the Marines. Paris Island? I can't remember, to be honest. Oh, I thought it, it, no, was it? I don't remember it being Jordan. I thought it was Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Paris Island is the, mm. it's the Marine facility, I believe, in Georgia. I can't remember. Mm. But right, it's, let's it's get a, on Overwatch. It, it's a special place that's supposed to be made like a town with all, you know, and they go there for training and, you know, they have terrorist mm-hmm. things that go on there, which, well, you know, helicopters that can come in uh, but it was good I enjoyed it I must admit so I didn't think it'd be on this quick though because I thought it was going to be one every three weeks I didn't realize it's one every week so that's know. good don't keep your public waiting what about what Walking Dead anyone watching that it's very grim <laughs> this season nope no, not on not it well. I must be the only one on it I don't know who else watches Walking Dead out of us lot uh, Webby, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot. Oh, my good time. No worries. Um, is this your ship in Eve? Yes, it is, mate. Yeah, I'm flying around now. Show me something interesting. Yeah, come on. What's that thing on the front? That looks like a. So this is a mining vessel. So mm-hmm. it specialises in mining because that's like. Wow! The... What? You just rammed into that space station. What happened? No, uh, no, because I opened up a warp hole. So I. Okay. Can't... You can't do that in real life. <laughs> so and then i'm about to approach a stargate and i'm going to use the stargate to travel further afield and then did you, did you ever play rebel galaxy because that's similar to this um no no oh, okay because that's that's not an expensive game i think i'm not sure if it was on the xbox and then i'm i'm, I'm on a mission i've got to kill a load of space pirates so I'm going to go and fight some space pirates in a minute. Uh, come in and let's see these space pirates. It might, might take a while to get there, mate. I, d- I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> and um, I'll look at the tweet, uh, the Twitch tra- uh, the chat. Sorry. Jordan. So they went to the Middle Eastern country, Jordan. Jordan. Dude, you don't like it. Dude. Stunty. What? Jordan. Jordan or Georgia? I don't know. I thought it was Georgia, but they're Were saying there it... trees. Well, no. they're saying Jordan in the chat, mate. So... Yeah, they're yeah. saying it's Jordan. So it must have been Jordan. Yeah, the Middle thought... East. Yeah, it must have been Middle East. It did look very uh, dead, as they mm. say. You know, it was in just sand. Oh, is this your cloak? What is this? Yeah, well, this is Star. This is what, Star Trek. Fight what someone. Like. Come on. Destroy the pirates, loot the secret documents. That's what I've got to do. I need to travel to where the pirates are, mate. Well, hurry up then. Put your foot down. Mm-hmm. Well, I well I had to um, I had to travel far earlier while we were podcasting to to mine some asteroids, mate. While I was podcasting, Clark, so <laughs> shout it to Mella in the chat as well. Clarkies, how can we listen to Leon's content? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> What's, who's she talking to anyway? I was talking to her mum, I think. All right. Yeah. In Australia. Australia, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yes, let's listen to Leon. <laughs> and yes, we would like Negan to get battered. He will get battered at some point. Look how many Stargates have I meant to travel through? Just a bloody. What are those things then? What you just got to go? What, what's the aid of going through them? So the Stargate lets you travel really, really fast to other parts of the galaxy. So I've had to jump from point to point just to get to this place. That might be an enemy there. 
Is this free to play? Yes, mate, yeah. Mm. I might put this on the PC. So it's a free to play version, and then there's a paid for version, so. Alright, what's the difference then? Uh, you can, when you're free to play, you get freaking rinsed by people who pay. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much, yeah. I think so. So you will, so basically you're going to come up against other people in the game that are proper people, you know, that will have just, if they've got money, they will have better ships than you. Yeah, pretty much. But you can join factions and stuff as well, so... Alright. Yeah. Is there a Mojo faction? No. Dude, this, think... is, this would be good cure for narcolepsy, dude. Or uh, insomnia, dude. Like, um... This, this is making me want to fall asleep right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, see, I'm just cruising the galaxy right I now. To, my daughter used to put Need for Speed on. That used to make her fall asleep. Oh, I need to warp to location, so I'm warping now. Bit hey, fun. does anyone in the chat want to play Overwatch? Clarky79. I don't think he's got it, is he? I might, I might join oh, you in a minute, it. Colin. I can play even shoot people. I'll so. be asked. <laughs> yeah, so. See you later, Arif. See you later, Beer. See you later, Gamma. Yeah, yeah. See you later, everybody. Good guy. Goodbye. I'm getting on Overwatch. I love you all. Talk to yeah. you Well, I'm going to stay and stream some EVE Online for everyone, just to... Okay. Just so they all stay right. bored. No worries. I am going to go to bed. I won't be on next week, as you know, because of things are getting a bit more <laughs> hectic around here. That's so, cool. Boxing stuff up, and then, as I say, I'll be back once I've got some internet. So, yeah. So there's. Hmm. So there's a um, an enemy in front of me called Wolf. Oh, is that his real name? I don't know, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go and fight him. Uh, oh, there's actually an enemy closer. How are you moving to... around? Just on the, it was, um... Using my mouse, mate. Are you Santa, Stunty? No, I, I, I might have a lot in my sacks, but no, I'm not Santa. Right, so let's approach this one. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm trying to uh, target. That's it. All right. Let's go and kill some, kill some enemies. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> so I'm, I'm orbiting this enemy and I'm shooting him with my gun. I can't see anything coming out of it. Oh, we are. There we go. Oh. Is he shooting you as well? Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're all... Can you not move? You're not moving around. It doesn't look like you're moving. No, I am moving. All right. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite, you know... I look at all this. Look, because I can zoom right out as well and do it a bit more tactical. So I'm going to uh, shoot that one now. Yes, yeah, so I can zoom in. Look, wee, I am shooting people. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. This is what I do in my spare time. <laughs> Must have a lot of spare time to play this. This <laughs> is quite. It's quite relaxing, mate. To be honest. Yeah. I normally just stick the Vita on. I, t I tell you what, I do that. I will, I'll get into bed, and I will put either the Vita on or the 3DS on, and I will sit there and start a game. And I guarantee I will only play it for ten minutes at the most, and I end up falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> I'm probably going to join Colin and Overwatch in a minute. To be fair, so. Yeah, I, I would normally, but the missus gets the telly Sunday night. I just wanted to do this mission. Mm. Mella, they won't let you in the Forza Club. <laughs> Has Mella one in the Forza Club, does he? He wants in the Forza Club. Yeah. More more to marry him, mate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you have to send me one when I'm on it next. Yeah. So, I might, I'll, I'll, I'll jump on it in a minute and send everyone an invite then. Well 
I'm off on Thursday, Friday this week, so I might get the chance to do a little bit of gaming. Oh, no, nice. I'm off as well. So, yeah, I should be about yeah. at some point. I've got lots of things to do, but I will get some time. Right, I'm going to shoot. So, I'll talk to you later. See you a lot in the chat. Yeah, right, guys, we are uh, dropping out now, and um, very thank you very much for joining us on the Twitch stream. It's much appreciated, and uh, we'll hope to talk to you soon. See you later.